Hi Silhouetters, it's Doodling Debbie here again with another video tutorial that I hope helps you um, be able to create better with your graphics and images that you bring in. And today we're going to discuss the Trace and Detach tool, which is right under your Trace tool here. And I'm going to start out by showing you that this is a butterfly image and it's a JPEG file. But in the background here, it has all of this white area. Well, if my card stock that I'm going to print out and I want this butterfly on it, you see when it prints, it will print all of this as a blank area. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Slide that back over there. Center this up a little bit. Move our butterfly up here. And I'm going to select the trace area. And as you know, when you're doing an auto trace, you basically follow the same procedure each time. Okay, I've selected my trace area. I'm going to turn off my high pass filter. And I'm going to increase the threshold because I want till I see the antenna show up nicely. And there, that should do it. And in this time, instead of doing a trace or a trace outer edge, I want to do a trace and detach. There we go. Now I'm going to show you the result of this. Look at this over here. We no longer have that white background or if I wanted a stencil of that butterfly. Let me bring this to the front so you can see it right click and I'm going to go down here and select bring to front scoot this over and you can see that right there but I don't need this so I'm going to go ahead and delete it out I just wanted to show you I'm going to slide this back over here this is our um, pretend sheet of cardstock that we might want to print out and we might want to print out a butterfly on top of it and I always like to layer things so this comes in real handy sometimes because this is what I do say I have a butterfly here in the corner and then I'm going to control click and I'm going to duplicate this butterfly down my shift key I'm going to group these together over here so now I have exactly the same size of butterfly so this one will be a print and this one is going to be well this would be a print and cut but I want to show you the cut lines here let me group these together so I can drag them back over. Okay, if we go into the cut style window, which you should always do before you do anything, any kind of cutting, and you check your cut lines, you can see it's just going to cut around here because this isn't selected. The butterfly is not selected. So that will give us a print, but I want to layer this butterfly. So we want to select that butterfly and you want to go back to your cut style window and where it says no cut just select cut and there you go so we have our card stock over here to this side and then we can set something else up here to layer our butterfly and I'm going to go back to the regular view so you can get a good look at it too. I hope this little um, tutorial is helpful for you when you're using photograph images or graphics or those wonderful freebies on the internet and um, when you create your scrapbook pages or your cards or any other of your other craft projects. Have a great day. I'll see you on the Silhouette Plus forum or over at my blog spot, uh, Paper Pulse. Have a great day. Bye.